Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another Greenlight unboxing series and another Hollywood series, Hollywood series 34. Um, yeah, they come up with a lot of these uh, throughout the years, usually like three or four different like Hollywood releases per year, it seems. Something like that. It seems like that. Anywho, um, these are not my models. We know the deal. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. We are going to check out the series together. We're going to see if we may score a chase. I've done a ton of these episodes, if you're not familiar. Uh, so check out the playlist for those. Subscribe and stuff for more. All that fun. And then we're going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, we're going to take a look at this. We're just, we're just going to check them out quick. We're going to cut open the box. Come on, we're going to score a green machine. We're going to score a green machine. It's fun to score green machines. Uh, this set, I'm already looking in here, and it looks like this one definitely is one that's been shown up at Walmart. So, that's interesting. Okay, so this is the 1960 Chevy Corvette from Riptide. No case is too hot to solve. You know the deal with Hollywood, right? So, it's a Hollywood car, right? It's a car that's been in a show, a movie, you know, something. Um... Not familiar with Riptide, don't know. Not a big fan of this generation of Corvette. I never thought that these looked good. Like the original, this is the original John Corvette, right? Blech. I don't know, I've never just, I just never really liked the way that they looked. You know? It's just me, whatever. Um, yeah. Pretty cool version of this casting, though. It's an older tooling. The hood opens on this one. Um, let me see if I can find the tooling number. Uh, yeah, tooling number 17. So it's it's an older one. It's been around for a while. But, uh, yeah, there's your first one. All right, next is from Thelma and Louise. We have the 1966 Ford Thunderbird. What happened there? Uh, huh. Um, so in there, does this thing get hot or what? Yeah, man, it's melty. Look at this. The packaging's all wavy. So this one's a quality control failure. Um, as far as the packaging is concerned, the car looks to be in fine shape. Uh, interestingly enough, you know, there's a Thelma and Louise series that has this car in it how close is it here it is um it's actually a fair bit different the this one's got the top this one does not uh the color appears to be the same the uh the wheels Looks slightly different. These look more painted in than these. These were done better. Uh, seems to be with more care. And I've seen this one hanging in stores, and all of them had kind of a blacker center cap thing. So, yeah. Interesting. All right, well, that's a neat comparison, I guess. All right, next one. And then why is that package so melty? I don't know. We'll see how we do with the rest of them. The next one is a 2011 Ford Mustang GT 5.0 from the movie Drive. I've actually seen this movie. Um, pretty basic Mustang, just a black Mustang. This one has inserted details for taillights. It has uh, inserted details for headlights. The hood opens. Way back in the day, I think I did a video on this casting comparing it to an Auto World Mustang uh, GL048. So I think this casting's been around for quite a while. Um, the packaging, while not melted, is like creased over here. A little weird. Hmm. Anywho, don't know. I mean, it's all right. If you don't have this tooling, this would be a good one to get. It's just plain black. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's... Yeah. I mean, it looks a fair bit good. So, I don't know. I'd maybe even consider it. Uh, next is the 1986 Jeep Cherokee Wagoneer from MacGyver. Sweet. 
watch this uh, show a lot as a kid. MacGyver. Uh, 86 Jeep Cherokee. I like this casting. I think this casting is pretty nice. However, this particular version of it suffers from the uh, green light wobbly circle disease where or just not centered. It just doesn't look good. Okay, when you're going to put white lines on a tire, you have to make sure that they're centered. Okay, at least somewhat or close, um, you know, otherwise it just the car looks terrible. And this is an example of that. These wheels ruin it because of the white circle on the tire. Now, if you took it out of the package, you can flip them around. And you'll have just a black tire. Definitely would recommend it. Because this one is a pretty ugly one otherwise. So, I get irritated with that. And I mention it a lot in these videos. Because we see it a lot. And that's that's the problem. All right. Next up is one that I bought. I bought this in Walmart. Saw it in Walmart. Picked it up. I was excited, actually, to get it. Because this is a 1986 Ford Taurus LX from RoboCop. Super cool. All right, I was super stoked, actually, to get this one. This is a new tooling from Greenlight. And... Uh, this particular version is pretty much all black. It's got reflective paint for the taillights. That's pretty cool. Got some accessories up top, like a light bar and uh, looks like a spotlight. And it's Detroit Police, all black. And it's cool. I think it's cool. I really think it's cool. So I picked it up for myself. Pretty awesome. I, I can't wait to get a regular like stock version of this casting too. The Ford Taurus is brand new, brand new tooling. Um, so I can't wait to add one of those to the collection. That will be, that will be pretty neat. All right, moving on. And last in the case is a green machine. Boom. We just scored a green machine, green wheels, green base. And it's a 1971 Dodge Challenger 340 from the mod squad. Eh. This casting's been around for a long time. I've got several versions of it. Pretty sure I've got one that's a convertible version. If I don't, this might be one to grab. Not the green machine of it. A regular one. I was for a while keeping track of tooling numbers and stuff and keeping track of what toolings I had from Greenlight because I just wanted one example of every tooling that they put out. I lost track and I stopped keeping track, unfortunately, and I need to know, I guess, if I have a convertible version of this or if all of mine are hard top because, you know, if it's a convertible, I'll have to get a convertible version. Does seats actually move back and forth in this? See how one seat is like back and one of them's up. Yeah, are, they, are they jointed? No, they look different. I, I wonder if that's done on purpose. Anyway, uh, we scored a green machine, so that's pretty cool. Uh, all in all, I'm going to call this a fairly weak set of Hollywood cars. Just not too much exciting, except for, for me. For me, anyway, okay? This is my opinion. Robocop. This thing's cool. Uh, this thing I totally dig. I dig MacGyver, you know, as a show. But uh, every one of these I've seen, I've seen a ton of them in stores, and, like, none of them have had straight, uh, you know, centered circles. So those are just going to get left behind constantly because who's going to buy that unless they're blind? You know, no offense. It's just a... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. We did score chase. That's neat. All right, let me know what you guys think about this set. You can find them at Walmart, actually. This one is available. I've, or I've seen it pop up at Walmart a lot. Um, I don't think... So the chases for Walmart, I think, are blue, though, right? Or something like that. So you won't find green machines there. I think you'll find, like, blue machines. Something like that. I don't know if that's a fact or not. All right, so... I don't know. Check them out. Otherwise, go to your hobby dealer for these. And uh, if you want them. And yeah, that's it. So check out the playlist. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you and have a great day.